Meow. Hello. Well, today, doing a bit of kids play. Couple of things to show you. This, which I'm so wonderfully modelling, is an Aldi poncho. But it's also covered in eyelets and then a couple of grommets grommet holes and whatnot so i'm going to see if i can make a little lean to uh, a little lean to shelter with it excuse me if you're picking up the loads of noise a little lean to shelter with it and i've got my timu chair which has arrived to show you i'll just quickly show you this poncho actually i got it in you know when they've had them on sale and then they whack them into the the bag and bin type of things or whatever so i picked it up in that and reduced it down to three pound dogs on the other side of the path there can hear me probably wondering what's going on but it does have it's only a velcro pocket i think it's got a front front kangaroo pocket but that also acts as the uh, storage pocket for this so it just folds back up all in itself it's also got two Prestons, one on either side for your arms, that you're going to undo them, but like I say, it's not the best for arm. Your sides will probably get wet, unless you tie something, something around yourself. Uh, so yeah, so I thought I'd come out, do a quick video. Oh, did I say the team wheel chair? See, when I go off track, the team wheel chair with a high back has arrived. So I've brought that, so I'll get me sheltered together. Uh, well, I'll have a go at it anyway, and then see. Uh, I'll show you the team old chair, and I'll see how this goes. So I'll have to take the mic off it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to undo the poppers. I'm going to undo the poppers on the sides of it. It's not massive, but I'm just saying, would it be big enough not to sleep under, just to give you a bit of shelter? If you wanted to stop and make a coffee in the rain or something but uh, yeah so this this front collar bit also i didn't show you but that where the hood is that fastens up as well uh, so i brought my poles that i bought off team as well which i showed you the other day with the bigger tarp and these t-shirts i got a five pack of these 100 percent polyester which doesn't sound brilliant but for hiking and walking in exert yourself you want polyester not cotton and i've got a five pack of them they're anti uh, wicking sports t-shirts five in a pack different colors and they were for the pack of five i think 12 pounds something can't really fall off for that can you so they'll come in i do so i brought like i said i brought the pole so i'm going to crack on and see what i can and can't do with this i'll bring you back in a second ben daily outdoors bring you back in a second i've done it I cut that out just so I don't. <laughs> so I brought a couple of cheap guy ropes. I don't know what they were off, something cheap. So I'm just going to tie these on each corner so I can put the poles in it and pull it up tight after I peg the back down. I brought some bungee cord as well, so I'll probably put bungee at the back. So I've just bought the bungee that I said. I've just copied, cut it down with my Oppenil number eight knife. Everyone should have one of them, cheap as chips as well. So I've put the two on the front. I'm going to tie these on the two back corners, just to whack a peg in there. I'll bring you... I'm not going to see it! <laughs> Ta-da! So what do we think? That would act. It didn't take as long. It took me more time tying the elastics and things on. Let's have a look at the Aldi. Aldi poncho shelter. So uh, that is the pocket to tie it down, and this underneath is the that's where your head goes through. So you'd have to put a bit of bungee around that or something to make it truly watertight. So I've put it lengthways up. Have I put it lengthways up? You know what I mean? So short sides, long. Let's move that one in a bit. Yeah, so the shortest bit going across the top and longest bit going to the ground, just to give it a bit of height. So I could put me 
team will chair under it. All I've done just tied a bit of bungee on each of the corners there and another one there, but ideally you could put a bit of bungee on all them grommet holes. Uh, just to, does this mic even on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just to give you a little bit of extra tie out places, you know. Yeah. Looks all right, doesn't it? <laughs> so, how much did I say that was? Not much, three quid or something was used down in the bargain bin. I might have had it, I think I might have bought it about six, seven months ago. So with not a lot of money, you can create yourself a shelter, a little a little day shelter you know, if you're out trekking. And, I mean, these about the same height as a trekking pole fully extended. So just whack your trekking poles in there, but it'd give you a bit of cover from the elements if you got caught out and you wanted to sit and you didn't want to just sit in the poncho. Because obviously the poncho will do that as well, won't it? So I'm going to put it back up in the tree and uh, I'll get this Timu chair out, the high back one. I'll show you that. So here's the oh. chair. Comes in its own bag, like most of these type of chairs that all click together do. It is quite heavy, so I wouldn't be taking this on any anywhere where I had to hike a fair way. But if you were going like you got the things at the end there so you could attach that at the bottom of your bag. If you go somewhere where you weren't gonna to walk too far or whatever, this would be ideal. But it does weigh 3.6 pound which in kilograms is about one point something kilogram so i've got 10 set of lighter than this <laughs> but if you did want that extra bit of comfort right the thing with this bag as well when you put the thing together you can have this bag underneath the chair as a storage pocket but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to get it out and show you this oh there this is uh, yeah, so it comes in the bag like that. Excuse me when you see my head, it's just I'm trying to put things back in the bag. So everything is rolled up. And that is the the chair in its back. It does have in its back there this a little metal rod. Let's see, I got this for I think it was £12 off Timo. I've checked this morning, it's now £19 something, almost 20 quid. But like I said before, if you're on team, we'll just shop around, keep looking, and the same, exact same item item will turn up a hell of a lot cheaper. And if you can buy something once, like on the same day, you're going to get a few things. Just buy your, your main thing and then buy it, and they're always giving you 100% coupons back. And as soon as you've bought that, they'll give you coupons to use on your very next one. So buy whatever you're buying, and then go back on with your coupons, and you get your, like, your, whatever it is, your... Five pound off if you spend ten pound, fifteen pound off if you spend thirty. Yeah, so it's got a little strap there that's attached to the one of the bottom chairs. It's a velcro strap just to keep things together. It's quite easy. You just let it, let it all out, <laughs> let it all out, man. Yeah, that's one of the backs there. The only thing is with these, obviously, I think everyone has the same issue they do tend to spinny spin round don't they? is that them all done oh no there's a there's a one there so that's the four bottom legs with there's little mud feet on but my aldi one that i bought has got um you know the mat that fits onto the feet i should have really brought that and that could have done for this one so there's your frame of your I'm hoping you can see this frame of your chair. It did come with very simple instructions. Yeah, so this, if you wanted to use it as a storage bag, you would just hang it over there. I suppose I can do it because it'll keep it, keep it safe, won't it? So the instructions, five steps basically, as something keep was telling you, is you put the back on first, so at the back of the back pocket here, you've got these long, long inserts. So they go on there, it says to do the back first. So we'll do that. 
there's one on and it says it will be tight <laughs> everything's freaking double entendre double entendre double entendre right so that's the back on there and then the front and what I do like about this I'll show you so a lot of them don't have it you've got some loops there you can grab hold of just to help you get them legs over the back of the chair he says unsuccessfully demonstrating yeah so there you thumb through the loop there get that on and pull it on so that's one there and this is all the canvas material oh and the, the frame itself is aluminium it's either aluminium or steel uh, but they're not plastic which is the main thing and that's it all put together nice high back chair now if I sit on this you know what's going to happen don't you we're just going to sink into the mud I should have either brought a sit mat <laughs> uh, and I shouldn't do it, but let's do it for comedy value, eh? Go and look at my moobs. Mooby dick. Right, are we in? Is it sinking? There we go. Ah. Oh. Ooh. I'm going back over for the back legs are sinking into there. There we go. That's oh, nice to have a backrest, that like, so... There we go. Happy days. With my team who chair. Yeah, because either ones don't have the big backrest, do they? That's comfy, that. I can't get out of it now. <laughs> I'm not going to get out of it. I'm a... oh, he's out of it. You fat knacker mickle. Right? <laughs> That's it. I'll get packed away. Uh, yeah, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, get subscribed. I'm going to sit back in his bag. Goes in his bag, absolutely no problem. Yeah, that is a double weight if you're not going to be walking tens of, 10 miles or so. But it's up to you what you carry at the end of the day, isn't it? I mean, that, I don't take cans of beer or anything with me because I can't drink anymore. So, <laughs> uh, not because I'm alcoholic, recovering alcoholic or anything. And I could have been. Yeah, I just don't. I can't. So, that is probably equivalent to what some people take when they're taking the bottles of red wine and the six cans of beer and the custom stuff so yeah it depends what you want doesn't it really yeah. so to put it away <laughs> I've uh, obviously took the poles and everything that's already away now yeah find that big kangaroo pocket to show you so it's got velcro so you can actually fold this from the inside sorry it's got velcro on the outside here three three pieces one along the top but it's also got on this side two slots and that's so you can turn that pocket inside out and just start stuffing stuffing the pot the poncho in on itself Yeah, I don't know what the weather's been like where you are, but it poured down again. It's the 31st today, Friday the 31st. It poured down again all last night. And in the northeast here, we had uh, gale force winds this morning. Well, almost like storm strength. So, yeah, so that's it. So that, get that away. Velcro that one onto that one. Do the same at the other side. I'm just velcroing those together. And there it is. The poncho packed down. So you just shove that in the top of the bag whenever you need it, pull it out, back it on if you wanted to stop for a brew when it was raining or just a bit of sunscreen if you're hiking on a hot day or anything. Uh, well, for a woodland, uh, you got your trekking poles. Just whack that up, a bit of shade for you. So, I'll pop it away. That's me all packed up. Everything in my little bag. 
leave no trace that tin can thing was there already but i will pick it up and take it out with me uh, i can't clear the entire woods i haven't got any bags but i do pop down here sometimes i do a little little pick uh, yeah i was going to camp here this week but i forgot it was school holidays and these kids these <coughs> these woods get over another night with kids being kids and some doing what they shouldn't be doing gluggity glug uh, so I didn't fancy you so the back at school and the next week I think I hope so so I'll come down next week and I'll do a camp in here as well <laughs> we'll have a chat <coughs> about another YouTube channel uh, and this one as well because people seem to like that I don't know why but uh, the videos take off and they get lots of views just me talking about the YouTube channels but I've already contacted this chap and he's a massive massive player in the uh, YouTube wild camping stealth camping community uh, and he's also said yeah go ahead with it Mick I said I'm not going to be calling anybody or anything like that it's just a discussion just my thoughts on their channel and uh, what I think so yeah so that's to come as well so yeah if you're liking them type of videos let me know in the comments below you know um, people must be because they're doing really well on the on the view count anyway i'm going on again Anna. so that's what will be coming up in the next one this was just a daft little thing me coming out and playing in my local woods to have a look at uh have a look at this poncho tab that i'd actually forgot about it's my well. back in the house away i came across it it's never been used that's the first time it's ever been oh, look i'm going on right to all you new subscribers, welcome. Thank you very much for subbing. It's really appreciated. As normal, if you don't subscribe, get it hit now. Give us a thumbs up. Until next time, love you lots for all, man. Mwah, bye. Mwah. <laughs> that wasn't good either. Bye. Mwah.